Hey buddies, what's up? Welcome to a new video on my channel and today we have a review on the brand new Cupra Leon. So this car is a hybrid car. So it has a 1.4 liter, 150 horsepower normal gas engine and it has an electro engine and together it's putting out 245 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. That's quite uh, quick for a little car like that. It's only 1700 kilo completely uh, that's the empty weight without drivers and everything but yeah it looks really sporty it has a really aggressive front clip that's not that us usual for electric car or like an electro hybrid car so it also has really nice 19 inch rims that are cupra rims so, and what i really like about that rims is you see that copper tone over here and that is all over the car that is a cupra thing also the cupra badges let's take a look at the cupra badges they are like cupra that is a thing of the brand and I really like that. You don't see it at other cars. They are all like chrome or brushed aluminium or just black. But this has that copper tone over there with the carbon fiber in the back. And it, I really like that. It has something different and um, something really nice. All right, so yeah, that's your charging port. So you plug in your cable there. And if you charge it on a um, charging station like a wall box or something, you can charge it in under four hours. Okay. So this is the fuel lid. There it is. What is what So normal fuel lid for uh, yeah normal gas. Yeah. That's about it. So and um, in the back we have the back of the car. I really like the design of it. The back light has like a complete light and has a little light show when you close it or open it. We put a little table of that in here too. And um, yeah, other than that, it's like normal. You open it with that flap thing, like we also know it from other models, like the uh, Golf Mark 6 or something like that. But I really like that this part here is completely your rear light, your tail light. I really love that. And then we have here at the bottom the exhaust tips, also in the copper tone. Yeah, four of them. It looks really nice. I mean, it's a little bit much for a 1.4 liter, but who cares yeah and then you have your little diffuser here and that makes a really really sporty look from the back i love that look from the back and from the front it's a really really nice car so that's about it from the outside let's take a look at the inside so here on the inside we start with the door panel so we have ambient lighting in here what goes over the whole line and the dash so ambient light all over the line there i hope you can see it and um yeah so you have that design here, like from your speaker, and I put it over the whole area down here. I think that is a little, uh, it's a really nice design feature. Okay, then from the, you also need to see the copper accents here too. Yeah, also the stitching is like in the uh, copper tone. Yeah, from the seats and everything, it's really nice. You have that sports seats with the hole in here and everything. And uh, that is the shifter knob, it's quite, a small shifter knob with a start button and everything there so um yeah not much buttons yeah that's about it then you have your um, your big screen from your radio over there with touch screen under there for um, the heating system and everything and uh yeah that's about it yeah so and then on the driver side you have your steering wheel with all the buttons and the digital cluster where you can change your moves but we see that in a little bit when we're gonna drive the car yeah, I would say we're gonna drive the car and then we see us again in a minute. Okay, here we have the cluster and there are different modes too. So these are the different modes where you can change your cluster. In. Yeah, oh, I really like that version. Yeah. Oh, the navigation in the middle. Yeah, so there are plenty of modes. So we are in this mode because we're gonna drive electric right now. What I gotta for forgot to say, if your um, battery is 100% charged, you have a range of 68 kilometers. We're gonna start in E-mode, because I never drove it in E-mode before. Okay, so the car is on. Here we go. If you... That is basically your throttle indication, so 50-80% power. So, and when you let it idle, nothing happens, and when you brake, 
it's gonna charge the battery so um, we cannot give the car a full throttle right now because it has only uh, because the car is not break in yet because this car is brand new it has only 320 kilometers on the clock yeah so 320 kilometers yeah so 320 kilometers is basically like around 200 miles I think so 200 miles is not much for a car so we need at least like uh, six or seven hundred miles break in process so there's another video coming where we test the performance of the car but for right now driving electric yeah they say it's good for the environment okay so no we can change it in hybrid mode so now we go ah, in hybrid mode so now the engine kicked in and it feels like an electric too so yeah like i say we don't give it a full throttle but now when it's running combined it's charging the battery too. Yeah, I really love that cluster version. That's my favorite version already. <laughs> it's really nice. Okay. Yeah, from the driving performance, so the uh, Cupra Leon, that is uh, the first Leon what is produced from Cupra by self and not from Seat anymore. So it's, um, it's a Cupra brand car now. And um, but basically it's still on the base of a Golf. It's a Volkswagen Golf basically. And um, yeah, I have enough room in here. I mean, it's not tight, but it's not like I have plenty of room like in my A6. But yeah, it's a Golf, so it's pretty nice and comfy already. Now it has already a um, touch light switch. Yeah, down there. Yeah, and up here too. So. Yeah, that is like really futuristic and it makes that nice noise. I can make music with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, <laughs> that's nice. Turn off. Oh, damn it. So, from what I know right now, it's driving pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, it drives pretty nice. Yeah, it handles just like a, a Mark 7 Golf. But I think this car is a little bit more comfy. It feels like the suspension is more soft because you don't really feel the bumps and everything on the street. So it's a really comfy car. And the seats are also like sports seats, but soft and really comfy. I really like the seats. Yeah, they are not like aggressive, stiff, but you are still in position and cannot move in your seat. That's pretty nice too, and they look awesome, yeah. Okay, so I think that's it for the video for today. We're going in the carpool right here, and we're gonna see us next week.